to another video. So in this video, as you can see, I will be talking about um, my update with working from home. So as you know, um, a few seasons ago, um, I quit my job as a teacher and began working from home as a teacher. So I am going to let you all know how exactly that is going so far. And I'm going to do this interview style. So I will be interviewing myself. So I have my questions ready to go. So let's go ahead and start this interview. All right, so how do you like working from home so far? Well, I absolutely love working from home. Um, I honestly never thought that I would want to work from home. Um, I never thought that I would even want to, you know, be home. I always thought that I would be, you know, career driven and, you know, be a working mom working outside of the home. And um, to want to be home and to want to work from home and to love it is great. I never thought that I would do that, but I do. I love it. I enjoy it. Um, and it makes me happier. Like I feel a whole lot more happier and less stressful. I mean, I'm a mom of three, so there's definitely still, you know, stressful moments. Um, but this is less stressful because now I have more control of my time. So do you miss working in the brick and mortar classroom? And what I mean by that inside, you know, the physical classroom, do you miss that at all? Um, I don't, I don't miss it. I don't miss um, teaching in a brick and mortar classroom, um, especially with how, you know, society is nowadays. It can be really chaotic. And I feel like what I do now um, is more effective, more effective than um, being in the actual um, physical classroom. Um, because what I do, I can really do more with pinpointing specific um, learning issues or whatnot and help students grow in specific areas instead of following, you know, these are the guidelines, teach this, teach this, don't teach that, don't teach that, teach this way, don't teach this way. And it's just give the students what they need, you know? So what do you teach now? So before in the brick and mortar classrooms, um, in the school system, the public school system, I was teaching um, ELA and reading. So language arts, reading, all of that. And so now I pretty much teach anything. Um, I, I always wanted to teach um, math. I started out teaching, um, well, I started out teaching everything. And math, I just absolutely love. So now I actually teach a lot of things. So I teach with um, VIP Kid and it's an online um, learning program that um, uh, teachers that speak English teach children in China how to speak English. So teaching them the English language. So I teach with um, VIP kids, so I teach um, Chinese students um, English. And then I also work with Tutor Me, and it's also, it's an online um, tutoring program. And I work with, and it's mostly high school students. So I mostly work with high school students working with, you know, essays and other papers that they have due, um, algebra, um, other writing skills, study skills, um, things for English class where they're reading like certain novels or stories and they have to, you know, write, you know, certain little essays or, you know, writing responses, things like that. So I do that. 
Um, and then I also have my own tutoring service, which is AR Learning. And I tutor and teach a ton of things through my own service. And so right now I have a focus on, um, I have a student in reading. Um, I have some courses in, um, well, I have some courses partnered with OutSchool. And right now um, I have a focus on a math class. So I have a math course going this month. Um, and it will pick back up um, in May, my math course. And I'm pretty much just helping students with whatever it is that they need help with in math um, from third grade to eighth grade. And yeah, and I have some more courses coming up. Um, I also have a, um, a money management course um, teaching adults how to, you know, build money management skills. So putting together budgets and savings and all of this stuff, growing their credit, all of that. So I have um, the recorded course for that and I have a live course going that runs each month. Um, also, um, I have an upcoming course with money management for teens. So that will be coming up pretty soon. So this course, I will be helping um, young people um, from ages 13 to 17, um, teaching them pretty much the basics of money management and what it's like to be on your own and managing your own money. And so that will be a full course um, with that. Um, and I have some other courses coming up also. Um, I also have a recorded video course in reading and I also have a live course in reading comprehension where we study um, comprehension skills and practice those skills and things like that. Um, so that's what I teach. I teach a lot of stuff. Um, which is why I'm actually enjoying working from home because I get to teach what I know and I get to teach what I want and I get to teach what students and what people need. What are your hours like? Um, my hours are great. Um, I mentioned that I teach with VIP Kid, so I teach um, with VIP Kid um, in the mornings from like 7 in the morning to 9 in the morning. Um, and that's right now with Daylight Saving. Now when Daylight Savings is over, then my hours are 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. So yes, yeah, so I do two hours with VIP Kid. And then in the mid afternoon, like lunchtime, um, I do um, tutor me. So I will do like an hour or two um, each day with tutor me, um, you know, and it's very, um, it's very simple. Um, I just log on and wait for students to need my help. And I'll be alerted, I'll be not notified that, um, there's a student that needs help in a certain subject. And then, you know, I'll claim that um, that student or that session and we get to work. Um, and then I have, of course, my service, AR Learning. And I do most of those um, either mid-afternoon, um, lunchtime, or in the afternoon. So my hours for AR Learning um are 11 a.m to 6 p.m and then i have a break from three to four um and so that's where i teach you know my math class my reading classes all of that um money management classes all of that so that's how the hours work um my tutor me um 
because I pretty much like there's no set hours, no set time with that. It's just go on whenever you want to teach. Um, so those sessions are more like my filler sessions. So depending on how many classes I'm picking up with VIP Kid or how many students I have with AR Learning for the week. Um, uh, that will determine how many classes I need to teach with Tutor Me, um, for that week. So, yeah, so the hours are very, very flexible. I choose my own hours with all three services. So with VIP Kit, I choose my own hours. Now, of course, we're working with Beijing time, so their hours end at 9 a.m., for us here, um, but they pick back up in the evening. So I tried to do evening hours and doing morning hours and evening hours. And then with the kids, that was getting a little too difficult to do. But I have a really good, um, really good schedule now. So I just pick whatever hours that works for me within the Beijing times and it's perfect. Tutor me, like I said, whenever I'm ready to go teach, I just go log on and wait to be matched up with a student. Um, and then AR Learning, that's my service. So, of course, you know, I choose my own hours for that. So, the hours are great. And the other awesome thing is that when things do seem to be a little overwhelming or I'm starting to be stressed out or get really exhausted because... I'm still working, like working. This is a lot of work and it can still be exhausting. I don't have to worry about, you know, um, <laughs> begging for time off or trying to figure out how I'm going to work out time off or, you know, how I'm going to talk somebody into letting me off from work. If I need some time, I just close those slots. And yeah, and so that's awesome. So I love that. I don't feel like I have to um, feel pressured to work constantly, you know, and put my physical health and mental health, you know, at risk just to please somebody else. Um, I can work and be productive and not, you know, not tear and break myself down, you know. So the hours are great. <laughs> so now that you're teaching from home, how do you lesson plan? All right, so lesson planning um, for VIP Kid, what I do for each lesson, if I haven't taught the lesson before, I, you know, I have my index cards and as I'm teaching or right before I teach the lesson, I'll go through the lesson and fill out flashcards for the vocabulary. I have a basket um, right up under my desk with lots of different props and things like that. Um, for example, if I'm teaching a student the word soft, um, I have a little teddy bear in my basket and I can just reach down and pull up the teddy bear and just rub it and say soft soft and get them to pronounce the word correctly and they can see exactly what I mean by soft so that way they understand the vocabulary and then they're speaking it correctly um so that's pretty much all to it with VIP kit when it comes to lesson planning um so I have like a shelf with all of my flashcards so if I teach that lesson again bloop, I just grab that envelope for that unit and I already have the flashcards ready. I have my props right there. I'm ready to go. Um, tutor me. There's not really much lesson planning with that because you're pretty much just tutoring students on the spot. Um, and I just make sure that the subjects, the subjects that I tutor, um, are subjects that I'm good at, you know, that I have expertise in because I don't want to have a student that needs help with something and I don't know how to do it. That's not a good look. Um, <laughs> and then AR Learning. Now, this is where I do the most lesson planning. So what I do, of course, I use PowerPoints for my lessons and, um, and I just, I put different activities together in the PowerPoints. 
So if I have a student that's working on, um, let's say the writing process, so I will have a whole lesson in PowerPoint form with, you know, towards uh, the writing process. So we'll have some notes, have different um, activities where they can interact and complete different questions and things like that. Um, also with my AR learning lessons, I also include maybe some games. Um, either I can make the games myself or I can um, uh, go online and play some games online. I can give the student access to my mouse and they can play the computer game from their location. And I have the game pulled up on my computer, but they can play it. Um, so I like different games as far as, you know, that help with reading comprehension, reading skills, math skills. So reading and math games are like the top ones. Um, I have a favorite spelling game too. Um, but that's how my lesson planning is. And before I teach the um, class or the session, I print out the PowerPoint where I have the two slides per page. And then this way I can jot down any notes as I go through the lesson and jot down how the student did, which questions they got right, which questions they got wrong. And I can jot down notes um, for next time to determine, okay, this is what we need to work on next time. Um, or they did really great with this, things like that. So that's pretty much my lesson planning. Um, it's not very difficult. It's not stressful. Um, it's not, um, it, it's, I would say it's very effective and it's to the point. And it's not just a load of paperwork, just to have a lot of paperwork. Um, it's directed to the student, to their needs, and what it is that they need to um, fulfill and achieve by the end of the class. Now, this is the question I really want to know the answer to. How do you manage working from home and raising three kids? <laughs> so you have three small ones and you're working from home. How do you manage it all? <laughs> okay, so managing three kids while working from home. So how I do that is a schedule. I have to have a schedule and that's how I keep the order with everything. Um, and I have a schedule like so tight so much that my four-year-old knows the schedule like he can look at the clock and see what time it is and he knows exactly what's supposed to happen at that time so in the mornings when i'm teaching vip kid um it's early mornings um my husband um will get um, my two-year-old and uh the baby he will tend to them when they wake up or if they wake up while i'm teaching so they're not noisy um, and my four-year-old who sleeps upstairs, um, he has an alarm clock and he knows that at nine o'clock in the morning, that alarm will go off and that's when you come downstairs. Um, because when we first moved him upstairs, it was getting to the point where he was coming down into the office while I was teaching and that was a very big distraction. So I got an alarm clock and got that going. So that's perfect. And while I'm teaching with Tutor Me in mid-afternoons around lunchtime, um, they're all taking a nap. Like all three boys go down for a nap. So they're on such a schedule that their bodies know the routine. They go down for a nap. So even the baby, he's down for a nap. So then I can come in here and teach a lesson or two. Um, and then in the afternoons, the late afternoons, I have other classes and then um, at that time, my husband has gone to work. So what I do is before I teach the classes, um, I get them fed. So they'll either have like a snack or I'll go ahead and give them dinner. And then they'll go to their rooms and play. So they're playing in their rooms. And I'll put the baby in the bassinet for his other nap. 
And so they're all in their rooms, they're playing and or sleeping. And then I go and teach my late afternoon classes. And then after that, then I'll, you know, they'll have dinner or snack. So if they have snack before class, then they'll have dinner after. If they have dinner before class, then we'll have a snack after class and just enjoy the rest of the evening together. So yes, I run a very, very tight schedule with these kids and it works great. My four-year-old, he knows, um, <laughs> he knows that, uh, six o'clock, by six o'clock, we need to have dinner. Like if we haven't eaten dinner by six o'clock, he knows six o'clock is time for us to eat. He knows seven o'clock is time for us to go to bed. And we have a routine going with everything, pretty much everything we do. There's a routine with how to do it and how to do it the right way. And I have it set up that way so that everything runs smoothly. Um, so that way it doesn't feel stressful or I feel like, how in the world am I going to do this? And I do all of that because I have to think ahead and think, okay, what is it that I expect? How do I expect to get this done? What do I want to happen? Like, what do I want to see happen? If I want to teach from home, what do I want to see my kids doing? What do I feel like my kids should be doing? And then I set them up for that and teach them. This is what we do every time. Okay, so last question. If someone were to, let's say, um, show interest um, or would like to start teaching from home, working from home, just as you do, what would you, what would be your suggestion to them? Um, my suggestion would be um, start with something small at first. Um, while you're working your regular job to see how that goes and you know try different things to see what will work for me i started off well i started ar learning like 10 years ago um but i was working like at a library i would go to a library after school to tutor students so i've already i've always been doing um ar learning vip kid i started that um, while I was still teaching in um, the school system. And I started that while I was on maternity leave with um, Amari. Yeah, my second child. Um, so I I think it was with him or was it with AJ? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. But it was one of them. I had already started, you know, teaching a few classes I'm um, getting the hang of it, and but it wasn't quite enough yet to quit my job. <laughs> so what I would do is just teach on the weekends because it was it was it was too hard to teach, you know, during the week. Um, because I would already get up early to get ready for work, and getting up even earlier to to teach, and then get ready and to leave, and then go and teach middle schoolers all day, and then come back. And then try to have like a little bit of energy for my own kids just to sleep like a few hours and get right back up and do it all again. That was too much. Um, so I just, you know, I just did what I could and, um, and just kept trying different things, um, researching. So I would definitely suggest research. What will work with your schedule? What will work with your personality? Um, and go with that. Try a little bit at a time. And then as you begin to grow in it and you grow your hours and all of that, and then eventually you can step away from that regular nine to five job and be able to work from home. And then once you're working from home, go ahead and have that set schedule. Have a schedule where, okay, at such and such time, this is when I go in the office to work. So you have to get, because you're not, people are not going to be watching you, you know, like when you're going to a job to say, hey, you need, you're supposed to be here at such and such time. Now, uh, don't keep getting here late. Things like that. So you're trying to rush out the door so you can get to work on time. With working at home, you need to, especially if it's something like tutor me where you're just 
just whenever you want to go log on and teach. Yeah. So you have to set some time. Set a specific time for you to teach from home and you stick to that. And you stick to that schedule like you are leaving for work. But instead of leaving the house, you're just leaving one room, going into wherever you have your home office. And you're going there to do your work. So, yeah. So, my suggestion would be to start small um, and then work your way to actually work from home um, full-time, part-time to be able to quit your job. Or unless you get an actual full-time work from home job and then in that case go for it <laughs> well all right and there you have it so this is what working from home has been like so stay tuned to find out more about what's going on with my working from home adventures my working from home journey all of that and I will see you all in the next video. Okay, so with working from home, does my hair look okay? <laughs> okay, so with working from home, how do you like working from home so far? <laughs>